Hello and welcome to Magic Gathering Strat, I'm Binka B and this will be a few games with gifts in modern. <coughs> so I was at work as usual brewing decks since my work is pretty boring and uh, I came up with that gifts should be pretty good. Gifting for Iona or gifting for uh, Elish Norn is pretty much game every time. <coughs> so I started out with a Tesseret shell but that was probably too many things in one pot so then I thought about why don't play a blue black control deck a straight up control with everything that should be in it like count spells and removal and card draw and card selection and whatever and then instead of the usual couple of worm coil batter skull <coughs> finish we have gifts so they tap out, tap out for something they think is awesome and hope that it resolves. And it does, fantastic. But then we gifts and just crush them instead. So uh, we can gifts for a Grave Titan, plus Umbrella Rights obviously. That's the combo, you only gifts for two cards. Umbrella Rights, stupid scroll. Umbrella Rights and one of the fatties. And we have a Grave Titan, a Elish Norn and an Iona. <coughs> so, resolving like an Iona against mono red or mono blue for that matter, they just can't win. It's just game over. Grave Titan against, I don't know, something like blue, white, red. Even if it dies right away, you have the pressure you need to win. And Elish Norn just wipes boards and gets in for a lot of damage. So, that's the combo aspect of the deck. Then we have the control. We have Thought Seasers. For hand disruption, we <coughs> have Dark Blast, Slaughter Pack, Paths, uh, and a Murderous Cut. Uh, the thing is that you need you need and want to have some uh, diversity so you can gift for different things. So I can gift, if I want to remove, I can gift for Path, Snapcaster, Slaughter Pack, and Murderous Cut for example. And then I know I will get two removals. If we manage to draw our big things, we can't gifts for them, we have two compulsive research and a thought scissors to discard them. Other than that, it's just talent spells and stuff. The mana base is pretty straightforward. Um, I've jammed enough white sources so we can actually hard cast the two big white creatures. <coughs> and the only non interactive lands are uh, Celestial Colonnade. They are the only thing in the mana base that can do anything else than being lands. Could we jam like Tectonic Gages? Probably. But I wanted to start out with the most stabilized mana base I could find and see how that works. If that works smooth and nice then maybe we will change it up a bit. Anyway, I'll be running this through a series of games here, so stay tuned.